the subject of the um, ignition ballast resistor grid uh, starter bypass relay has come up again and uh, this video is um, it's gonna be kind of a twofer I got there are two different owners uh, who are still a little fuzzy on what this uh, bypass is how it's wired together what it does what its purpose is etc etc um, in fact one owner um, his DeLorean wouldn't start and uh, the default reaction whenever that happens is everybody says ah there's something wrong with fuel and they start going down the uh, fuel supply rabbit hole um, I had the temerity to suggest ignition and sure enough um, he was monkeying with there's ordinarily a light switch right in this general area that operates the uh, engine compartment light um, I don't have an engine compartment light so I don't have the switch but he was monkeying with that switch and then all of a sudden the engine started so he uh, tried to draw a causal connection between the switch and the wiring to the switch and ignition which uh, is incorrect there, there's absolutely no relationship between the two whatsoever they're two totally different circuits that have nothing in common between them no fuses no wiring no nothing in common between the two um, I suspect what happened was while he was monkeying with the switch which is right here he ended up bonking this terminal here which is part of the ignition circuit and this terminal probably was not making good contact and in the process of banging into the terminal it started making good contact and lo and behold his engine started um, which means that as soon as this terminal stops making good contact his engine won't start again so he does need to investigate what's going on with this terminal uh, which brings us to the subject of today's video which is you know what is all this bypass here and what is it doing so um, as I've said in other videos the way the ignition circuit works the factory ignition circuit works the white wire that goes into the ballast resistor grid this white wire is somewhere between um, battery voltage and charging system voltage okay. and the factory ignition system is not designed to operate at those voltages it's designed to operate closer to six volts so to get this voltage down to six volts they run it through this resistor grid these two resistors here and what that does is the battery to charging system voltage that goes into the resistor grid by the time it leaves the resistor grid has been reduced to somewhere between six and eight volts which then goes over to the ignition coil so um that's the purpose of this resistor grid is to take battery to charging system voltage on the white wire and reduce it down to six to eight volts on the white with yellow wire and as I've said before it makes no difference which terminal these two wires go on um, it's not polarity sensitive the resistor grid it's not polarity sensitive it works in either direction so you can put white on either of these two and white with yellow on the other one and it'll work identically in either direction now where the rub comes in is during the starting cycle because while the starter motor is turning battery voltage on this white wire is going to be significantly reduced probably or potentially to the point where the spark plugs cannot fire and if the spark plugs can't fire you can't start your engine 
So what you have to do is take one of these two ballast resistors out of the equation. So you only have one ballast resistor that is active during the starting cycle. And the way they do that is with this wire right here. This is the halfway point between the two resistors. It's shaped kind of like a letter U. Goes in one through the bottom and out the other. So if you put voltage on the halfway point, what you've done is taken one of the two resistors out of the equation. It's almost like plugging this wire in over here. Now, the factory wiring diagram, the official DeLorean factory wiring diagram, like uh, what's in the workshop manual, shows this wire here, blue with yellow, being connected directly to the starter motor solenoid. And that will not work. Okay. If you connect this wire directly to the starter motor, like it is on the wiring diagram, what will happen is whenever there's voltage on this white wire, it'll run through this blue with yellow wire down to the starter motor and engage the starter motor, engage the solenoid and cause the starter motor to spin. Which means that whenever ignition was on, your starter motor would be spinning. So what you need is a way to turn the voltage on this wire on and off. And that's what this relay does. It's an on-off switch for that bypass. So this wire here does not run to the starter motor. It runs to this relay socket. Okay. And this white wire is what supplies this wire. It goes from this white wire. Um, ordinarily, there is a, a fitting on here that lets you connect two quick connects to one terminal. Um, I don't know where mine is. It's long gone. I don't ordinarily run this ignition. This is just here for me to show you. So I just take these two together to show you that if you have that fitting, these two white terminals would be connected together on that intermediate fitting and this white wire runs down to the relay socket so that way when the relay is triggered it goes back up to this blue with yellow wire to the halfway point so that's how voltage gets to here and then this other blue with yellow wire is what triggers this relay. This goes down, this is what is connected to the solenoid on the um, starter motor. Is this, the two blue with yellows. And the way you keep from mixing them up, this blue with yellow has a male quick connect. Okay? So there's no way that you could connect this one to this terminal if you wanted to because it would be male to male. And this blue with yellow has a female quick connect. So there's no way you could connect this blue with yellow to the inline, there's an inline harness connector somewhere back in this range that this guy connects into. Well you couldn't connect these two together because it would be female to female. So that's how you keep from mixing the two blue with yellows up. The female goes on here, the male goes to the inline harness connector. And then the fourth wire is a ground. And there's ordinarily bracketry that runs across the back of the engine compartment. And one of those machine screws has a bunch of ground wires attached to it. Not just this one, there's, there's a whole bunch of them. One of them's for the, I believe, the um, engine compartment light switch, and I think there's one or two others. So they're all bundled together on that machine screw and then there's one wire that goes from that bundle down to it's either the intake manifold or the valve cover I can't remember which um, but that's how it is then connected to the engine block ground which is connected to chassis ground so the purpose of this relay which uh, is ordinarily attached to this bracketry that runs across the back 
I've just stuck it on, on here temporarily because I don't run it. But if you've got the factory set up, you're going to have a place to permanently attach the socket. There's going to be four wires coming off the socket. One of them is white, which is ganged with the other white. One of them is blue with yellow. It's the only blue with yellow that has a female quick connect. That goes to the halfway point on your resistor grid. You've got the other blue with yellow. That goes to an inline harness connector, which is somewhere in this range. You see how short it is. You can find it. It's not hard. And then the fourth wire is the ground, which goes to a bundle of ground wires somewhere in this general vicinity and then over to the engine block. So that is how the bypass is wired and that is its purpose is to put voltage at the halfway point on the resistor grid during the starting cycle because if you don't have that voltage at the halfway point it is indeed possible that your engine will not start and you've got to have the relay because you cannot attach this wire directly to the starter motor. The wire has to go through an on-off switch of some sort, and that's what the relay is. The relay is your on-off switch.